Philly Film Games. It's over. Hey everybody, welcome back to Spiny Control. Oh. Control. Ooh, ooh. Round round or not. Oh, Control. Janet Jackson's first solo album. Woo, Control. Miss Jackson, if you nasty. Oh, what? Can't the? even spin them, huh? Oh. Oh. I'm not doing shit. I gotta get my Yoshi. Yoshi. I bet, yeah, I was gonna say Yoshi's probably the one that can take care of him. Uh. Oh. Oh, oh Jesus. Choke him to death. Oh, wow. That's dark. That is extremely dark. What? I don't remember having to do that. No. That looked really dark. Um. Yeah, we're uh... But, like, no, I was staring at the, like, the one star, star bit, and it was, like, blood, it was, like, white and red, like, it was, like, bloody stool. Oh, yeah. It's like, ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I, you missed a little bit. Just saying. You were a little low. But, um... Continuing on what I was talking about last time, uh, my grandfather's funeral, uh, was all about, well, so, how, how, I'll just start, start with this part. So, like, I might as well get it out there in case, oh, I don't know, one day I'm gone, but yet somehow YouTube's still around in year 2220. Because <laughs> you know it will be. Oh, yeah. Because Google is essentially Skynet, and fuck it. Um, so, my grandfather was a POW in World War II. Uh, he was captured Christmas Eve, of all things, uh, during the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, if you know anything about the Battle of the Bulge, it was, yeah, suck him up. He was pointy things, can he? Uh, so... If you know, like I say, if you know anything about the Battle of the Bulge, it was this giant spearhead. It was basically the lot, the Nazis' last ditch effort to penetrate the wall of Allied forces, which yeah. they succeeded. Um, and so, what happened, at least to all my, all the knowledge that I have, was he, he was in a machine gun nest, and in the Ardennes forest and they weren't aware of I guess they didn't have the intelligence that Germany had done this pulled this successful spearhead so they uh he, he was uh in this machine gun nest and a grenade came in and it blew up and uh after explo after it exploded, it killed everybody in the nest but him. Hmm. Uh, I guess he, he managed to duck out, out in time or whatever, and it it uh, it broke his leg. Hmm. And so he tried. What he tried to do was, as the Germans were coming through, uh. He tried to play dead, so you know that he, you know, escape and get back to the Allies. But apparently, this German doctor came through and, in perfect English, said, "This one's still alive." So they they pulled him out, and uh, they they made him march thirteen miles on a broken leg back to Hamelburg. Oh, fun! Yeah, uh, where he spent the next. Essentially six months. Uh, Hamelberg was one of the last... You remember you got to hit the... I know, I'm trying to figure out what that little... Like a... Oh, yeah. Butterfly just chilling there. Just doing its own thing. Oh, God. Oh, it's a poison cloud. Uh, <laughs> oh, gonna... it's a fat one. Oh, Jesus. I was going to... Scooter's riding coughing. Look out! Beware! It's all over. 
Um, so he he spent six months in this this uh, POW camp, or this prison. Uh, apparently, it was very, it was overcrowded as all get out. And the Germans didn't give a shit. Um, conditions were shit, whatnot. Uh, but he got out of it, and they were they were liberated in May. And when he came back, he was never talked about it. Never. I mean, I think the only things he ever said, he spoke to my grandmother about. So that's, and she, she shared with me everything she had, but he never, never would talk about it. Just, that was the thing he did. It happened. Yeah. I mean, he, like, I, there were a couple instances, uh, where people in my hometown, oh, Jesus. Hey, shot. I'll say. From downtown! Boom shakalaka! Uh... Would, would do things where they would honor vets. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather never wanted to be a part of it. Because well, I remember his... Where he where he lived wanted to do it. And they wanted, like... Like, everybody who... Um, everybody who... Who had ever served in the military. So, like... My entire family... Myself... And him... Like, they had all our, all our information, but... And they were doing this giant, um... Uh, ceremony for all of us. He didn't want to go. I was like, that's fine, I'll go. Like, that was just his, his, his deal. He just never, never cared. And so, that's why I felt like this entire ceremony was, like, not what he would have wanted. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it was cool. Well... It was it was nice. The, v, the the county VFW did it, and I I did um, honor guard for about eight months while I was active. So I did a lot of military funerals and, and shit like that. And so I'm standing by Dave, who is my cousin's husband, and he's a he he was former he's he's former Air Force. And I'm doing my darndest trying not to critique everything these people are doing. <laughs> it is it was so hard. Cause I'm I'm sitting here I'm standing here like Cause I mean he got everything. I, I was I was kinda shocked. He got he got the flag folding, the firings, the the, the, the gun salute, which he gets fifteen. People, a lot of people don't know that. Um when you have a military uh gun salute there's there's more than just a 21 gun. There's 15, 18, and 21. 21 is only reserved for presidents of the United States, uh, active duty funerals, and cold sweaty toads. Yeah, that um, guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Uh, and uh, retirees like 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 NCOs and officers who who go. 20 years plus. And, uh... Here I was hoping there'd be some use on that. Yeah. So, he got his 15. They folded the flag. And I'm, like I said, I was really trying my damnedest not to... Because, I mean, the firing squad was... They weren't on, all on, on beat. Oh, uh, they Missed the timing. Well, I mean, it, I mean, if you're if you're not attuned to it, it sounded like they were on. But when when I had when I had that shit drilled in my head, like the cadence of doing that, mm -hmm. you you kind of keep it, even though it's been fucking. Fit, there you go. Um, you know, it's been over fifteen years since I've done it. And, uh, the flag folding was nice and whatnot. They gave, and they gave my grandmother what I thought they were going to give her. Um, a folded flag in three rounds is what you'd give them. Uh, uh, this isn't where the hidden star is. I was gonna, oh, come on, that's just a bonus screen. That, that, they ain't going to give you that shit. I know. 
What were you saying? Small thinking? pathetic hope. <laughs> I gave up on hope years ago. I know. Oh. Mine's still hanging around a little bit. Ugh. Just like George Carlin says, fuck hope. I'm like, yep, kind of there. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was just a thing that happened. Um, it was nice, I mean, it was, the one thing that drove me nuts. Well, there's a lot of things that do that, but. Um, for this situation But for this situation specifically, um, one of my exes showed up. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but, which, well, first of all, I know that it might be shocking to a few people that I actually have an ex. <laughs> Given my temperament, uh, that I had an ex anything. But, she and I are a lot alike. Uh, she, but she's a lot nicer than I am. Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't know how in the hell she meant. She's a lot more tolerant, I'll say that much. I mean, she spent her time with me. Yeah? Two and a half years. Yeah, that's how... <laughs> she's long-suffering. Uh, she, uh... Uh, she showed up, and... Uh... Hell, even my well, my yeah, my dad showed up, but then again, my mother showed up for my grand my grandmother, so it was like whatever. Uh, so she shows up, and we just start talking. That's all we did. Uh -huh. One thing you gotta know about this girl, she's smart, but she's she's deceptively smart. Like you you you, you don't believe that she is smart. When she says things like the following. Nobody ever talks about the Arkansas shoreline. Mm -hmm. Let that sink in for a minute. That that Arkansas has... That isn't landlocked. Yeah. This is what I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, like, I mean... She's smart, but boy, she'll she'll say some things that'll, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, where did that come from? Like, I say things that are goofy, but they're in jest. I don't really mean them. And, uh... Oh. Wait, did, no, I guess this isn't a place we've been. I guess not? Oh, you should've... Uh-oh, fuck. You should, that... Do I need a cloud thing for that, I'm guessing? Yeah. I don't know. No, but I was going to say the way to get that thing would have been to have your cloud. But, uh... So we... Like, the entire time we're there, I mean, she paid her respects and whatnot, but she ended up talking to me the rest of the time. And... My mother gets this weird idea that... Well, it wasn't just my mother, but half my family is like... Oh! You're talking to her, huh? She's trying to get back in on the territory. I'm like, we were talking to each other. Because, quite frankly, no one else gets us except us. us. <laughs> so, yeah, we were talking. We understand each other and how goofy we are. But she was talking about how I can barely see that toad. Oh, Jesus. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to be doing that. It's okay, I got him. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if I was gonna sh supposed to show forth effort or anything. Nah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> it's not required. No. Um. Because. Well, she's, she's the oldest of three. And her, her, uh, her younger sister's getting married in September. Mm. And her, her younger brother just bought a house. And she was telling me, it's like, yeah, this is starting to suck. Thanksgiving dinner was weird. I'm like, explain. Well, uh, Thanksgiving rolled around and 
we were having dinner and the family starts like talking about the things they've done all year and so my my younger sister's like I just got engaged um and my younger brother's like yeah I just I just bought a house Oof. and then when it came to me it's like put my clothes on today yeah I got dressed <laughs> and I, well for her knowing her yeah that's an accomplishment um so I'm like oh I see. Like, now it's gotten to this weird point with her because she's the oldest and she's done none of these things. Yeah, she's like, gotten... Yeah. I mean, she's got a good job and she does... She does what she wants. And I think that, for her, that's all she's ever wanted. Just, you know, as long as I can do what I want, when I want, I'm happy. Yep. Like, her, her idea of the American dream or whatever does not coincide with everybody else. And so, she was she was telling me like, I I just I don't feel right with all this stuff and like I just I'm ti getting tired of it all. So I'm just like, so this is what I said. I said you know, we, you know what we could do? She's we could uh, we could just have a marriage of convenience. Just get married. Just call it She's like what? I'm like oh yeah. I'm getting tired of being asked when I'm going to find somebody. And all these other crazy accusations, like my one cousin who's no longer with us, accusing me of being gay. Um, I think this is the star I already got. This is not what, what I What about that thing over there? That's just an extra life. That, that you can't... Oh my god, okay. Yeah, this one has a hidden star, and I think I passed it in a level somewhere. Oh man, well then go up and see him or something, I don't know. See what he's gotta say. Yeah. Do you got something new? Whoa, it's you! They call me the Chimp. Yeah, we know. We've talked to you on several occasions. Yeah, well, Oh, yeah, shit. Damn it, I missed it somewhere. So, I, we, we kind of made this compromise, like, well, we can't do anything now because her sister's, her sister's engaged about to get married. So, because if she announced anything, it would blow that clearly out of the water. Yeah. And she's like, well, how about this? In, in two years... If if I had she's like if I haven't figured anything out and you whatever because I know who you are I'm like well thanks <laughs> oh well <laughs> uh you still want to go through with this we'll we'll go through with it and I'm like all right. all right so so in two years because well because the other thing is her brother as soon has plans as soon as as soon as uh, she. We'll make this an extra long episode. Fuck it. Story time! No, because, I mean, this is a whole episode and you didn't achieve shit. Yeah, I know. So, um... Oh, her, no. Okay. So, her her brother is is planning on uh, getting engaged after his sister gets married. So, this poor... It... it, it just go the family's the gotta have a big budget for weddings. That's all I'm gonna say. Um. Oh, nice music choice. Um. She's like, yeah. As soon as he, as soon as he gets married, we'll do it. I'm like, all right. So I mean, I mean, we're not really belittling marriage or anything like that. It's just this is what'll be work. This will work for us because. We're tired of being asked shit. Uh, we have no intention of children. Mainly because I don't want any, and she's she's absolutely scared to, you know, take care of one. Mm. She, like, she's afraid she'll kill it. Yeah. Um, which is a notable concern. I mean, you should know your limits. And, uh, oh, that's right. It's the secret thing. So you, you collect God. Here, I gotta help you. If I can. Uh, shit. That didn't help you at all. Maybe. Um, where's my fucking... There it is. Where's my fucking? Give me the fuck. Yeah, give me the fucking. Release the fucking! I can be Liam Neeson. 
So that's going to be our deal. Um, just be like, we're married. I mean, like, it'll be like, well, for me, at this point, I'll be in Tennessee, and she'll be in Pittsburgh, and it'll be... Yeah, I was going to say, I think you got to collect all the coins, because... Well, that's... Oh, boy. Fight it hard, Yoshi! <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that I think that's what it would work. So when we have social functions in our family, that's just what we'll do. We're just there. We, we show up as a couple, and it's like, that way no one has to ask us questions. And then if, if we feel adventurous, we'll, uh... Maybe we'll adopt a child. I don't... I, I don't know. I don't trust my gene pool. I mean, hers is respectable, but... Mmm... Not really... Ooh! Oh, oh you got lucky okay. there. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that was luck. That's all... I'm asking for at this point. Oh, wow. You get through it. No! I, I was gonna say, maybe you were going back down to the other course. Oh, no, there it is. There's the star. That's what I needed. Hot dog. Wow, look at you go. Go! Oh, man. Oh, but you get to restart it. Yeah, I don't I don't die. That's... Yeah, which is good. I'll take that. Yeah, so. So by so in 3 years I'll be married. Congrats. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yay. Yay good for you. It's it, it's almost as bad as those promise rings? <laughs> God, I never understood. I remember the first time I heard about that shit, I'm like, what? Yeah, the, the high school promise ring. Oh, it's for high school? A lot of times, that's when people, that's when it comes up. Oh my God. I never knew that. I always thought it was like a weird, like, pre-engagement engagement ring. Kind of. I mean, I mean that's it's... what it is, but I didn't know it was... Specifically meant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, um, I didn't know it was specifically meant for high school. I don't know if it is specifically. I've just never heard anybody use outside the of high outside. school. Outside, yeah. yeah. No. Usually when you get past high school, that's when it's like, well, it's kind of the real deal or now or nothing, buddy. Yeah. Um, because I knew. Oh, nice. Yes, I just floated to it. <laughs> nice. Because I knew a guy when I was in the service, like, right after basic training. He had, he's like, I, because I asked him, like, what the hell is that thing? He's like, oh, that's my promise ring. The fuck? Mm -hmm. And then he had to explain that shit to me. I'm like, wow. That seems really dumb. He's like, fuck you, it is not. I'm like, all right. Just saying, dog. <laughs> so next time on Philly Film Games, we'll make some progress. More. Promise. Maybe. Sometimes. I promise I'll marry you, Eric. Okay. 